This is Andrew Stotts of A. Stotts Investment Research, and I've been working a lot on this concept of U.S. companies holding a lot of cash. But the reality is U.S. companies are not holding too much cash. So what I would say is it's not why – the question that we want to ask is not why are U.S. companies currently holding so much cash, but why did U.S. companies hold so little cash in the 1995 to 2003 period? So let's take a look at it and go back in time. And we've looked at what academia has to say. And it's been a lot of research that's been done because in 1995, U.S. companies were holding 4%. Now they're holding 11%, right, which is a lot of cash. Now, considerable academic research has tried to answer this question, but it's not been really fully convincing. You can see the other blog posts I just did on that. There's six reasons why academia says there's been this increase in cash. It could be the agency problem. It could be repatriation of taxes. It could be refinancing risk. It could be high R&D and rising intangibles at companies. It could be falling inventory and capex, and it could be companies with high volatility of cash flow. Those are the six different ways they've tried to explain it. And from my perspective, I would say that none of those really explains it for me. So let's take a look at the next slide. And what you can see from this one is that... I've separated out non-U.S. and U.S. companies, and what I can see is that looking at these non-U.S. companies, it raises a whole different question. Non-U.S. companies have been pretty high originally at about 11% in 1995. Then they went down to a low of about 9% uh, in 2000, so after the 97 crisis, they started running low on cash. But it went to a bottom of about eight and a half or so percent. And now it's back up to, for non-U.S. companies, back up to 2016. So what we can see is that the difference here is really just that U.S. companies were super low. And that's why I'm saying it's not why are U.S. companies currently holding so much cash. It's why did U.S. companies hold so little cash in the prior period. Now, we can then take both of these and combine them into that yellow line, which is global. So that's a combination of non-U.S. and U.S. companies and see... Cash was about 9 to 8.5%, then up to about 10.5% or 11% right now.